a man named Neon V. White is filming a video for his TikTok account and wants to showcase his piano skills and is just about ready to begin playing a song. So far, so good, right? Well, not necessarily. In fact, little does Neon know, but something creepy happens to him right off the bat. Watch this. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, Neon here. I got bored over the quarantine and I'm trying to learn the piano. So yeah, yeah leave some comments down in the, in the comment section for any suggestions. It's definitely understandable that Neon does not notice the door handle moving all by itself, so I can't even begin to imagine the scare he got when he reviewed the footage. Also, 30 seconds later when this happens, take a look at his face. Okay, so the door just opened. Um, as you can see right here, I was recording just over there, and um, the door opened. That was interesting. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go back into my room and completely ignore that that happened. The door just closed again, but the other door. Um. I'm not gonna have any of that. I'm just gonna close the door and completely do that. As soon as this happens, Neon takes it upon himself to get up and investigate the matter further, but is unable to find anything of interest. That is at least not with his own eyes, because his camera captures something rather chilling at the end. Okay, so the door just opened. Um you can see right here, I was recording just over there. When we reached out to Neon about the dark figure, he replied saying he didn't know what it was. So what do you think? Was there actually some sort of creepy ghostly presence in Neon's house that day? Or was this just a faked video in the hopes to get some views? Let me know in the comments. Leonam J.S. Manuel uploaded a video to his channel in January of 2019 in which he explores an undisclosed area that seems to be quite creepy by the looks of things shown in the video. For the first little while in the upload, Leonam is seemingly unable to find anything besides some debris. Despite this, he continues to press forward and explore just a little bit further, but maybe he should have stopped earlier. If this is indeed real, then it is quite surprising then that the uploader did not move when he heard this sound near him. Maybe it was just because he was frozen in shock, and in that case, that would make more sense. And as for the creature caught on video, we obviously can't be sure if it's real or fake. It could be someone in a costume, or it could be an authentic sighting of what the uploader refers to as the Lobisomem. The Lobisomem is a creature in South American mythology. In Brazil, it is believed to be a werewolf whose sights are primarily set on attacking women rather than men. 
It is said to be just a bit over two feet tall and resembles a fairy monkey. In the video, whatever this creature is can be hard to tell for sure because of the video's low resolution quality to it, as well as the fact that it was all filmed during the night. But the description of the Lobisomum seems like it could match the creature depicted in this video. Do you agree? Let me know your ideas in the comments. Mysterio JL shared a video to his Facebook page in March, which sees him using his phone in an attempt to contact spirits from another dimension. We hear him say, there's a man and a woman, and then he says that they are stuck there. He follows up by asking, what are you keeping here? He proceeds to ask a few more questions along those lines, and as you can probably expect, he gets a bit more than he asked for. Take a look. ¿Qué es lo que estás cuidando aquí? Anda, comunícate. Te puedes manifestar, te puedes comunicar con nosotros. ¡Ay, ¡Ay cabrón! ¡Ay, cabrón! ¡Qué pedo, güey! ¡Qué cabrón! ¡Qué pedo! ¡Ay, cabrón! Something about the way Mysterio and his friend behind the camera react to this situation sounds quite authentic to me and the terror and the voices seem real. They are able to flee from the scene before anything else can happen to them. So it's just a good thing that they got out of there when they did, or else who knows. Maybe the spirit would have gotten even angrier and done more sinister things. A YouTuber named Eric Gunner is exploring an extremely creepy abandoned building late at night to document for his channel. During the vast majority of the investigation, he isn't able to find anything. There are some bits of debris scattered, and it's obvious that the building he is exploring has absolutely seen better days. But besides that, everything seems to be perfectly fine. Towards the end of Eric's investigation, he stops to sit down with a friend he went to the building with and the two of them begin to strike up a conversation. However, the conversation goes from relatively normal to sheer panic in just a matter of moments. Take a look. Y fíjate que, a ver, rame tanto. Fíjate si aquí estoy bien, si no puedo moverme. El chiste es que cuando me metí yo y empezaba a subir la quimera, lo que está hasta arriba, y empezamos a... Vámonos ya. ¿Por qué? Vámonos ya. Vente, pues vámonos ya. Okay. Gratefully, Eric and his friends are able to escape from the building before that mysterious figure can make a reappearance. But had they waited any longer, who knows if they would have made it out that night. In April of 2021, a man on YouTube named Hassan Ba Ba says that the video you're about to watch was extremely frightening for him to film and to witness the events of in real life. So much so that he says, I seek refuge in God. But what could be so terrifying that would cause him to react in this way? Well, let's find out. While exploring a creepy looking building, Hassan spends the first few minutes looking around for anything of interest when he turns around and suddenly he sees this. Bismillah. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ايه طب وينك وينك He proceeds to explore the area a bit further, but he doesn't get to look around for long before something else stops him dead in his tracks. If you are present in the room, tell me. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious. Hold on, brothers. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious. Do you see it? بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Fast forward to a couple of minutes later, and it is clear that Hassan is getting quite freaked out, and understandably so. At this point, I would be rushing to get out of there, but Hassan decides to stay for a bit longer. But that might have been a mistake. لا إله إلا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ايه شو هاد شو الصوت هاد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا اله Now that seems like that might have been enough for him to finally recognize the danger he is in because he slowly but surely attempts to find his way out of there but not before getting one last final scare take a look خليك 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء Hassan believes that the child he repeatedly saw that night was a jinn child Jinn are believed to be supernatural creatures in pre-Islamic Arabian and later Islamic mythology. What do you think? What was the child doing in there with him that night? Was it really a jinn or was this a setup? I'll let you be the judge. And that was five scary videos to watch if you hate sleep. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video.